Okay, so what's up babes? It's Curly's Victoria. I'm back with another video. I am literally about to take a shower. Um, I'm in the bathroom. I'm going to come out my hat. I'm literally about to wash my body from head to toe. Um, today, I've already washed my hands, but today I um, just needed to wash my hair. But also, um, I met this girl in the store. Well, these two girls in the store and I had said excuse me so I can get to the section that we all were looking in. And when they moved out the way, I looked in their shopping cart and they had this adorable little baby puppy that I just thought was like one of my dream little babies. And she was like, I could tell that this is the type of puppy that you really want. She's like, did you want to hold him? hold her and I was like yeah I do so I got to hold the baby she was so sweet when she seen me um again she just like tried to crawl out the person come to me and I'm just like oh my gosh so freaking sweet um but needless to say even though I had on clothing and stuff like that the dog was probably fine I picked up the dog I ended up hand sanitizing and everything like that but still I had picked up a dog that was not mine literally had on clothing so I'm washing all of my clothes I am also going to just wash my hair from head to toe just to ensure not only from the dog but just to make sure that I'm super clean and everything like that I just got home um, and it's 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 been long overdue for wash day so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my hair I was not going to just because like it's just too much right now but my head has been itching and not from the dog y'all not from the dog probably from the um I think it's a combination of just dirty hair and then also the oil you guys know I was putting um, Wild Grow in my hair. And even though Wild Grow is like, it makes people feel different. For me, Wild Grow, Do Grow, all those, they make my hair itch so bad from the time I put it in and throughout the time having it. And I know y'all are probably like, so why you keep using it? Sis, it works. It works. And then also, I don't want to waste anything right now. I just kind of want to get through all of my oils. So even though it does make me itch, it's like my... Most uncontrollable itch is right when I put it in. After that, it's not so much. I know my shower curtain, guys. I washed my shower curtain, so I got to put it back up. But anyway, this is it. There's like probably a third of this, maybe a little bit over a third of this left. And I'm just going to use it throughout my locks. Hopefully, I can finish this by January of the upcoming year just so that I can do away with it and start moving on to my other oils under my ca cabinet. Um, so I'm definitely going to be incorporating oils throughout the week in my hair. Once I get out the shower now, I'm actually going to add oil on wet hair. So you guys know a lot of times too, I like to spray like apple cider vinegar mixed with water in my hair before I shower. Today I'm not doing that y'all. I'm not doing that today. I'm just going to do a very, very deep wash, deep condition. Once I get out of the shower, I will come back and I will talk to you guys, but I'm not going to film me washing my hair and all of that because it's just too much to set up right now. But if you guys did not catch my video on my Fashion Nova or Goodwill haul, which one is it um then make sure you guys go catch that it's only like a minute in length and i did a try on haul for y'all so don't thank me now sis thank me later make sure you smash the subscribe button and let me go take the shower so i can clean up so i can get things done so your girl can be smelling fresh she can be clean and she can drink her detox water period see y'all hey y'all just fresh out the shower um let me turn off my bluetooth speaker very quickly if i can find it so fresh out the shower. Shower. Fresh out the shower. Um, I don't know why I feel like looking like this. I think I'm trying to clear that off. Okay, yeah, that's a little better. But anyway, yes, fresh out the shower, y'all. Um, so your girl is pretty much. I told you guys I was gonna be washing my hair. It's washed. It's washed. Though. So basically, I have um. Freshly washed my hair. I'm about to wash my face. I'm about to do my face wash routine since your girl hair is literally wet. And then I have to clean up. I'm going to eat a little bit. I had a salad today. That's all I had. I'm going to have a little bit of leftover vegan spaghetti and maybe a side of steak. Or maybe I'll have a uh, smoothie. I don't know. It all depends. It depends. Because I feel like I had a good amount of greens today. So it's not like 100% necessary to have a smoothie to get those extra nutrients right now. So my hair is like dripping wet. Sorry, guys. But, um, yeah, it's growing, too. Like, I know when you see your hair or you see things about yourself every day, you don't always notice, but other people do. And then also, like, sometimes if you do side-by-side -side comparisons of hair and stuff, you're like, bro, my hair just super grew. Um, I know I keep it up in, like, a top knot or 
Um, I keep it on a low bun. I do wear it out and down sometimes, but a lot of times I have on a baseball cap. Just not to hide my hair or anything, but just because it's like a quick fit. And also if it's hot outside or it's about to rain, I just think having on a baseball cap is definitely a vibe. But a lot of times you'll catch me in one um, if I'm not dressed up and going somewhere. But this is what my hair is looking like, y'all, for the people who follow my hair journey. Um, nice and wet, nice and washed. We are about to hit 15 months on October 1st. That is in just about, what's today, the 20th, 21st, or something like that. So we're about 10 days, 11 days away from actually hitting 15 months. So I'm super, super impressed with the progress. But, you know, even though y'all hear me in my videos saying, like, I can't wait for my hair to down my back, to be quite frank, like, on a regular basis, I'm not, like, being impatient with my hair at all. I know that I'm not always the pa most patient person, um, and I'm working on that. That's literally on my to-do list of goals to work on, which I'm standing here talking to y'all, but honestly, I could sit down. Like, to be for real, I could sit down and have this conversation instead of just standing up. my face in the shower so I think I'm just going to take some coconut water and like see each other when you're on the tape. Y'all already know which one I'm about to pick up. I gotta find it. My witch hazel which I have witch hazel white tea over there too but I'm just going to use these two. Coconut water and I'm going to use witch hazel. So can you guys see? I probably need to go ahead and get my thumbnail. Y'all know how I, I get. But anyway. Rose water, coconut water. Don't take this as a, I shouldn't do vitamin C face wash because y'all, it's literally a vibe. I get it from Ulta. Um, it's by Silk and Glory. That face wash, exfoliant, and everything about it is a bomb. So don't like think I'm saying, oh, got to cut it out. I just think lately I have been overwashing my face between nighttime, morning, and sometimes in the day just because it's been very hot. Um, and then there's been days where it's been rainy, so I've just been feeling the need to wash my face a little more often. So I decided if I'm going to wash my face three times a day, then I will use my face wash in the morning, face wash at night. Um, but during the day when I wash my face, I'm just going to be really using water. Like when I take showers, using water to wash my face. Um, maybe just a little bit of soap, non, you know, natural soap to just wash, but not really. Just mainly a cleanse. So being that I've already washed my face earlier, I'm just going to spritz my face with coconut water. I like to fan it just in case like the water decided to be a little too concentrated or something and it get in my eyes. And then I'm going to spritz my face next with the rose witch hazel water. Um, I'm going to let this dry in too, y'all. I'm gonna let this kind of, you know, and then I'm gonna, you know, add a serum to kind of seal in my moisture. I'm gonna use my jasmine. Oh, I gotta be so careful because a lot of my like serums over here and stuff, my mist, my facial mist and stuff, they're all glass. And you just gotta be careful because you don't want that break in, exploding, anything, and getting all over your floor and then ultimately losing out on your oil. So as you guys can see, there's this is jasmine. So my face is not 100% dry, but we're still going to add some oil. So that oil will go ahead and mix in with the water that's already on my face. And I'm just gonna use this little bit to kind of spread my whole face. Um, this jasmine oil, y'all, is so amazing. Like, I know I have a bunch of stuff over there, but it is amazing, y'all. It definitely seals, seals. No, it seals in the moisture, like, really well and I know my face like I said is still wet so and then my hair is not making it any easier while my hair is super like, ugh, wet right now I'm just going to 
take like maybe one of my oils. <sighs> Let me take a good one that smells good, I think. This one smells okay, but I have a macadamia. Hold on, let me smell this again. Yeah, this is one of my oils. That smells really good. Or it smells healthy. I don't know how to explain it. But um, I have a macadamia oil. And I'm going to choose between these two really quickly to use. I kind of want to use some Wild Grow. Just because I think I'm going to use... I don't feel like having my hair itching, though. Wild Grow makes my hair itch. Like, maybe during the week, closer to dirty hair, I can add it. Um, I'm just reading something y'all i've been using this like throughout the years but i just want to see if there's like better benefit to use it when it's wet right now than it is dry but i don't think it says well i think i'm going to use this instead um just because remember i told you guys i'm trying to like finish this off sorry the camera keeps i'm trying to finish this off so maybe i should choose it now um because right now i really don't see and i just i just spritz it in here or use the applicator tip to just kind of put it in between my roots um i mean i know it makes my hair itch sometimes but i also feel like it can you know revitalize the moisture and then also um what was i going to tell y'all um i'm gonna put some around my nape and my edges um, just because we need to keep those lusciousness. I don't think I'm going to be like styling my hair until the 1st of October. So I'm just going to take this week and next week, the beginning of next week, I'm just going to be moisturizing my hair. And then once the first comes, you guys know I'm either going to wash my hair, I'm going to retwist it, I'm going to do a braid out, a twist out. I'm going to do something because I always celebrate the monthly anniversary of my box. Like I just do that. I'm not sure if everybody does that, but that's just my thing. I always do something special for my hair, whether it's a wash, a deep condition, a retwist, something. My hair gets treated the first of the month, every month. Something goes down. Sometimes my washes happen the night before, you know, like midnight of the first or something, but my hair definitely gets attention because it's the anniversary. So it's pretty you know a good time to put this oil in here kind of get it throughout my roots my hair does get thick but i just think who wouldn't mind thicker and longer and healthier hair please don't think that this all constitutes like my growth in my stuff constitutes constitutes to oils and washing my hair all the time because you have to understand my hair does grow quickly when i don't do anything to it obviously when i was a loose natural um i used to find myself um doing frequent trims and cuts and stuff so obviously i would always take away my length just because i was frequently every three months every six months getting trims and cuts and things like that to get the split ends but since i have gone back locked there's been no need for that because your hair is locked so i just feel like it my growth and my you know my hair is just taking off because i haven't had to do those things so like i said i'm just gonna seal in the moisture I've already pretty much hit my roots, so now I'm actually going to just go back in and get, put this oil into my hair, like, because I feel as though you still want to make sure not only your roots are taken care of, but you want to make sure that your locks are still healthy, you know? So for me, I'm just going to actually probably bantu knot my hair, not necessarily like an individual bantu knot, but I think I'm just going to um, section and oil each section real quick now that I've done what I've done and I'm just gonna kind of like put it in a bantu a bantu knot type of vibe but not really so I'm just gonna twist this twist this and just put like a hair tie around it it doesn't have to be perfect I just need to section this stuff off and they're not really even turning out like bantu knots for real for real it's just I need to put them in buns so I know that the section was completely done. And then I'm gonna take them out 
and I'm gonna let my hair air dry down. That way we can ensure that it's not like, you know, that it's not, because I feel like if you keep it like this, it can dry, but it's gonna dry a lot quicker with it being down and the roots like exposed. But I might keep it like this too, just because I feel like this will seal in the moisture a little bit more. I used to bantu knot my hair all the time when I used to have my first set of locks. But like I said, this is just to, right now to make sure that we're covering each section, oiling the hair. But yeah, I take care of my own hair. I get asked a lot. I got stopped at a store and asked about my hair. And it was like, where do you go to get your hair done? Or who started them? And how long have you been locked? And I'm just like, since I started them myself, I've, you know, the second lock journey as well. And I have been locked almost 15 months now. And I know people are like, well, why don't you just say a year? Y'all, I promise when I get to January and I can say a year and a half, I'm gonna stop saying it by months. But right now, I think it's just easier to break down by saying I've been locked this amount of months all the way up until a year and a half. That's just my preference. I don't want to say, oh, I've been locked a year and a month. Because trust me, when you're in a lock journey, y'all, like those days and those months actually matter. So you can't just be like, oh, I'm, I'm locked. I'm locked. Uh, holy cow, I almost broke that. You can't just be like, um, I just started my locks. I feel like you take pride in that. So you'd be like, I've been locked for blase blase months and then sometimes people like to know your exact amount of time you've been locked because they want to kind of you know guesstimate what their hair growth would be like or the length even though it's not necessarily going to be true because everyone's hair journey is different but still people like that because they kind of like to get hope especially when I see people who just started theirs they're like oh my gosh your hair is so pretty how long have you been locked so I think that specific time like stamps makes it easier and it helps people kind of, especially if they feel like their your locks are their size or your hair texture resembles theirs. I think that they, they like to get hope. So I'm, I'm real open and real transparent about stuff. I don't try to just, you know, blow you off and, and stuff like that. I try to, you know, to the best of my ability, answer whatever it is you're asking me if I see it um, or if I see you in person. But yeah, so this is, Literally, I didn't know that I was going to be talking this much, but I guess it's long overdue anyway to talk about hair and life updates. So, yeah, I'm actually going to be cleaning and stuff like that. I told you guys this. Um, I think I'm going to put this section together. Yeah. Uh, oh, nope. I think I'm going to section it twice because there's some hair back here, too. But, um, yeah, so just keep it up, you know. But I've been so busy and I've just been enjoying this journey so much that I have not been really pressed about the growth and stuff. I think my first journey, I was so anxious and everything like that. This journey, I talk a lot about, oh, I can't wait till my hair is like down my back. But y'all, like behind the scenes on everyday real life, I'm not like, oh my gosh, grow. I'm not like that with my hair. It's just like, it's taking off. I'm seeing it. Um, I'm taking care of it. And that's that. So I can't wait though until I hit a year and a half in um, January because your girl's hair is about to be lit. So I'm probably going to make sure I like kind of oil my hair at least one more time by the end of this week at max two. Um, every couple days I want to oil it all the way until that's gone. I don't want to over oil it, you know what I mean? Because it's just that thing of two, you really don't want, you already have natural oils, you don't want to be messing things up. But every few days i do want to oil it i won't say every two days but every few days i do want like every three to four days or you know just based on how my hair is feeling i want this to be that moisture until i finish off that oil and i will proceed to go with my other oils like i said i haven't really been buying hair products i'm just trying to get through what it is i already have even same thing with shampoo conditioner moisturizers same thing i do have this um, Mayel Avocado Moisturing Hair Milk. I'm gonna add a little of this to my, my roots just for health. My hair is already starting to itch, but I told you guys, anytime I use, wow, girl, my hair itches. But I'm just gonna go ahead and just, you know, add a little bit of, I didn't mean to get that on the locks like that, but I'm gonna add it to my hair while these are like Bantu knot, kind of, put it in my roots. Just because it's like, even though you're locked, I'm locked, I'm still like, there's still 
you still got that loose natural hair that you have to take care of, especially if you're like me and you don't retwist your hair every month or every two weeks. I just feel like you still can give attention to those new roots because those are eventually going to become a part of your old lock and they're not going to be the newest thing. And you want to make sure that the oldest part of your hair is just as healthy as the newest part. So I just give equal attention to all. But now that my hair is washed, I'm going to leave it like this. Um, like I said, it's just really to moisturize. And I'm going to focus on adding a little hair milk to my edges and my nape. I've always felt like edges and nape, that's where you got most of the tension when you're retwisting your hair and stuff. So don't neglect it. Trying to focus on the twist, I mean, retwist and all your other stuff with your hair. Do not neglect your edges and everything else. Still moisturize them, still treat them with care and do all of that. So, do y'all see this? And like I said, I know some of y'all might think it's dumb for me to still um add wild grow knowing that my hair itches that's just a reaction for me but i'll take like a end of a comb and i will scratch my hair when i'm home but like i said it works it does help with thickness it does help with a lot of other things growth i've been using it over the years and that's just my reaction is an itch there's no breakout like no scalp breakout it's just my hair itches um but like I said, I just make myself kind of suck it up. And as the days go on, it starts to itch less and less. But also you just know that your hair has absorbed those oils and it just feels so like moisturized and revitalized. So that concludes this video, I guess, of my nighttime routine. I'm not going to record what I'm about to go do, which is clean up. Put, I need to put my shower curtain back up. I know I still have the liner over there but the shower curtain needs to be put back up but i'm gonna end this video make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up like comment share subscribe let me know what you have planned for monday night um let me know what you guys are doing do you like these videos when i just do my nighttime routines uh what is it that you guys want to see on my channel i know i get comments here and there on different videos but i want the comment sections to start being really lit on my videos because i want to hear what you guys who are watching me have to say what you all are thinking about like what video should i do i know i typically get good feedback i get more i get better feedback like i get more good than i do bad on my channel and i think that's just amazing so i will see you beautiful people in the next video thanks for tuning in let me get to it It's only a little something